Here you're going to see more examples. Um, before we start, um, if you could just pause the video and try them yourself, that would be massively useful. And then when we go through them, you can see where you've made the mistakes. Okay? So try each one yourself. If you really want to challenge yourself, try carbon dioxide and ethene. So, let's do them. Um, hydrogen, starting off, you know it has one electron. So it's going to want to share one electron with another. Chlorine has 17. So you know it's got two in the first, then eight, and then seven on the outside. So, let's do chlorine. Two on the first, then eight. and then seven. Here there is hydrogen's now got two on the outside, chlorine's now got eight on the outside, so they're both stable. They're sharing one. Hydrogen's given them across, chlorine's passed over or shared and a dot. So therefore this is how you would do HCl. The next one you would do is H2O. Now the first thing to notice about H2O is that you have got two hydrogens and only one oxygen. Okay, so we are going to draw one hydrogen and another hydrogen. We only, however, have one oxygen. This oxygen has two in the first shell and then six. So to make eight, you can see why it's got to form two bonds. So it makes shares once with this one, once with this one, and it's going to get its total of eight. So two in the first shell. Now we have to share. Um, so now hydrogen is happy. We now have one, two, three, four around oxygen. So five, six, seven, eight. Let's check it. Oxygen should start with two, six. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Brilliant. Has it got eight now in total? Correct. This is how you would do H2O. CH4. The really interesting thing about CH4 is again you've got four hydrogens and it's interesting to look at why. So, sorry, this is wrong. If carbon has got six electrons, it will have two in the first shell and then four. If it has four on the outside, to make eight, it's going to need to make four bonds. Carbon always makes four bonds. So, two in the first shell, four on the outside. We have got four hydrogens. So each one of these electrons is going to share with a hydrogen to make the four bonds required. Now, carbon's now got a full eight. Each hydrogen's got two. I've got one carbon and four hydrogens. That's correct. The last one's quite tricky, okay, and a little bit different. The problem with oxygen is if it has eight electrons, it can fit two in the first shell and then six. Let's draw the first oxygen. Two in the first shell and then six. It wants to create two bonds, but it's only bonded to one more oxygen. For this to happen, the second oxygen two, two, three. this oxygen has six as well. It wants to create two bonds. So when they share, 
they create a double bond. Each sharing one here, they are sharing one each. Sharing here, there are two x's being shared and two dots being shared. Okay, so in total, there is now eight there and eight around there. Double bond. If you draw this another way, you could draw oxygen double bond to an oxygen. However, if you drew the same way, this carbon, one line is a single bond. Single bonds, double bonds, because it shared twice the number of electrons. Try CO2, try ethene, bring them into class. Good luck.